Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls of all ages, it's me, your Star Wars dad, and it's time to coin a new phrase on the channel. From the channel that brought you FYF, finish your farms. From the channel that brought you FYM, fix your mods, comes a brand new phrase today. You should be sharding. Greetings and hello there to all my children near and far and far and wide. Hey, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I know you want to be subscribed. And what happens when you subscribe to this channel, not only do you get all of our awesome videos and content for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and just sometimes some fun Star Wars stuff, but blessings come your way. Brothers and sisters and children of all ages, your, 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 your ailments are healed. Your cash problems are solved. You get raises at work. Your dogs become a more loving and more affectionate. Your neighbors, they become big, huge fans of yours. They'll deliver pies and cookies and cakes, whatever you want. Subscribe to the channel today and make good things happen in your life. Now, what is sharding? <laughs> no, it's not that. Stop, stop, stop. It's not that. Look, you should be sharding. Everyone who plays Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and does any farming at all should be sharding. Now, what are we talking about? Let's go to the let's go to this here. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a big thanks to Jedi Knight Caleb for allowing me to use this roster for this video. I was doing a private roster review for Jedi Knight Caleb. Private roster review is available on the channel. Masters level members can get private reviews. Anybody who donates twenty bucks can can get private reviews. Lots of ways to get private reviews on the channel. I'll deliver you your very own YouTube link to have your own private review. Anyway, I'm looking at his roster. It's great. He's got Kylo, and Kylo is done. He actually farmed Kylo on his own, just FYI. I don't want to, you know, we don't want to take it away from him. There's a Relic 3 First Order Tie Pilot, Special Forces Tie Pilot. That means he did it before the Lightspeed Bundles came out. And he did use the Lightspeed Bundles to farm Ray. He's working on Star Killer right now. These are great things. Star Killer. He's working on on uh, on the Executor. And he's got he's got some. He's got some sharding to do. He needs to be sharding for Imperial TIE Bomber right now. And also, he needs to be sharding for uh, IG-2000. But more than that, you know, here's how this game works, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen of all ages. You know, you're always finishing a farm of some kind, right? So right now, my pal Jedi Knight Caleb is going to be finishing off the Star Killer farm. He needs to add an Omicron to Star Killer. He needs to get Star Killer geared up. He needs to make Star Killer really work on his roster. So he's going to be working on that, and he's going to be working on getting some shards of the of the um, Imperial Bomber, the 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 Imperial Bomber, Imperial Bomber, and uh, Tie Bomber. Blee! Tie Bomber and IG2000. In the meantime, you know we may get a Lightspeed Bundle soon for the Executor. I don't, that's just my guess. I don't know. We'll see. But he needs to be farming those shards. And that's great. That's kind of a, a minor league sharding right there. <laughs> I may giggle every time I say this word. It's kind of a minor league sharding right there. But in this game, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, we've, we've, uh, for a long time we've said you've always got to have a side farm. We've said you've always got to have a side farm. You've got to be working on something in the background. While you're finishing off Star Killer, while you're finishing off Ray, while you're finishing off the Executor, you've got to have your eyes down the road, six months down the road, four months down the road, three. You've got to be sharding. And where does Jedi Knight Caleb need to be sharding? Well, I'll show you the number one place. The number one place. He's got C-3PO, he's got Ahsoka, he's got a seven-star General Kenobi, a seven-star Padme. He needs to be sharding shock T every single day. We're going to work toward gas in this roster. Gas is a long-term goal on this roster now because everybody wants gas. So he needs to start sharding for shock T. The cool thing is he's already done all of his sharding <laughs> for the 501st. So now what else does he need to be sharding here to get gas? He's got, by the way, he's got all, what I mean by that, he's got them all at seven stars. When you're sharding, you're farming shards for these characters, you're just farming shards, and all of the shards for the 501st have been five have been sharded. So all the sharding is done here. He has been sharded. <laughs> this is gonna get banned. I'm just I'm gonna get banned on this. Uh, YouTube's gonna come after me hard on this. Anyway. What else does he need to shard? Well, he needs to go ahead and shard. He's got B2 Super Battle Droid. He's got Drydeca. He's got IG Magna Guard. He needs to be sharding for B1 Battle Droid. And yeah, we're getting some some uh, 
Shards would be one right now with the calendars and the daily logins and the, the, the web store, you know, daily chests. There's a lot of sharding going on for B1 right now. The, Jedi Knight Caleb has everybody fully sharded for the gas journey except for B1 and Shock T. So he needs to be sharding those two characters in the background while he's finishing up Ray and Starkiller and Executor. That is what I mean by you should be sharding. Everyone should be sharding. If you don't have every character at seven stars, there's something you can do out there to be sharding. But let's talk a little bit more from this roster. You know, there's going to be a lot going on. There's going to be more Lightspeed bundles coming out. Jedi Knight Caleb is purchasing Lightspeed bundles. But you've always got to have sharding going on. <laughs> I, I, I can't stop saying it. You've always got to have sharding going on so that you can be working towards your future goals. And this roster is missing as a couple of giant holes. I know that the, the gas hole is there. Hey! <laughs> he, he needs to shard his gas hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. If that if that does not entertain you, I, I got nothing for you on this channel. Anyway. So he needs to finish sharding his gas hole. <coughs> but he's also got some Revan holes on this roster. There's there no, there's a lot of sharding to do here for Jedi Knight Revan, including Jolie Bendo, Zalbar, Mission. On the same note, thank you very much. Jolie Bendo, Bastard Sean, and oh, T3's already done. So there you go, T3's already done. And he also needs to shard his way toward Darth Revan. That's going to be, he's already got Karth Onassi done. He needs to get Candorous done. He needs to get HK done. Bastila, Sean Fallen, and uh, jo Juhani, and somebody else there. Somebody else that needs to be sharded for this. Uh, I'm not sorry. I don't remember. Maybe I said them all five. I don't know. He needs to be sharding for those guys. So, so uh, because on this roster right now, the B1 and the Shock T, those are both those are both fleet um, farms, right? So, I'll tell you guys what I do with my farming is the way that I shard on my roster is I'm I'm working on gear in my shops in my guild activity shop. I'm I'm buying gear in the in the shard shop in the um the you know in the shard shop. I'm buying gear in a lot of places. I'm getting it from TB from TW from raids. I get a lot of gear. Uh, I don't get gear from raids anymore, but you you know you get the currency for it. I'm always always sharding, I'm, uh, especially for my gas hole. Come on, come on, man. I think this might be the best video I've ever made. And if you haven't subscribed yet, brothers and sisters, please hit that subscribe button. Make this the channel that guides your Galaxy of Heroes journey today because you should be sharding your gas hole. Um, so, I I'm just saying, you should always be farming shards for characters for farms down the road. It's never going to hurt you. You can get gear in a lot of places. And yeah, you do when you've got enough farm. When you got three, four teams already sharded up, you want to go ahead and probably farm those Chirotex, right? You want to grab those light side Chirotex, the squids, the walkies, whatever we're calling them today, shock prods. Grab those. It's the best. It's the best regular energy to know to know to do when you're not sharding. So that's it, guys. We're, we have changed the name of. You've always got to have a backup farm. To you should always be sharding, and we're going to be using this going forward. We've coined a new phrase for Star Wars, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I got nothing else to say. I think I've said enough. I think I have said plenty, and I would not be surprised if YouTube uh, blocks my cash on on this one so make sure to subscribe so that i can make more cash off you later from views down the road i appreciate all of you you're all wonderful people i don't care i don't care what jenna Knight caleb says about you hope you have a good day i'll talk to you soon always remember nooch too good